all right everyone welcome back to another video today on episode two of the rocky podcast i will be sharing my 2019 ufc bold predictions so let's get started 2018 was full of a bunch of surprises Conor McGregor versus Habib, Daniel Cormier becomes a double champ, Max Holloway defends his title versus Brian Ortega, a bunch of great knockouts, great submissions, and great fights. But I do believe 2019 can top 2018 with these bold predictions. I believe these will ha- well, these can happen. I'm not saying 100% they will happen, but these are kind of like my wish list and kind of some things I hope happen for 2019. So let's jump right into it. My first prediction, Conor McGregor will fight three times in 2019. Now that is bold since we know Conor hasn't been really consistent in the UFC. He's been doing his whiskey business. He fought boxing. But I do believe Conor is hungry now. He lost to Khabib in a very embarrassing way. I think it was a comeback. There's a lot of fights on the table. The Khabib, the Khabib rematch. They want to put him against Poirier. That's a good rematch. They want Max to come up and fight him. There's so many other things. He might fight George St. Pierre. There's so many other fight opportunities for Conor in uh, 2019. And in his division, I definitely think that he might fight three times this year. That's a bold prediction, but I do think it's possible. Real quick, I'm just going to give you a few names that I wrote down and jot down that Conor could fight. So he could fight Khabib, Tony Ferguson, Dustin Poirier, Max Holloway, Nate Diaz. George St. Pierre, and I even threw in Tyron Woodley because you never know with Conor McGregor. Okay, so my second bold prediction is very bold. I'm not rooting for this. As you know, I'm a Max Holloway fan, but this is my second bold prediction. I predict TJ Dillashaw defeats Henry Cejudo, gets a second belt that moves up to 145, faces Max Holloway to maybe get his third belt and defeats Max Holloway and becomes the first three-time champion in the UFC. Obviously, you guys know I'm a huge Max Holloway fan, so I do not want this to happen. But you never know. TJ has talked about moving up after he beat Cejudo and fighting Max. But already, it's a tough matchup against Cejudo. We can't count Cejudo out. We don't know if Max is going to stay at 145 long enough. It's a bold prediction. But that's that's what I predict. I think TJ could get three belts in 2019. Moving on to my third one. Tyron Woodley versus Kamar Usman is canceled because Usman is gets injured or he misses weight. And Colby Chaos Covington steps in to fight Tyron Woodley short notice and defeats Tyron Woodley by stoppage, either by TKO or KO or submission. That's a very bold prediction, but just think about how crazy of a story that would be. These two hate each other. They've been trying to fight for a while. They were supposed to fight, but Colby got injured right after he... Got the belt from Rafael Dos Anjos. How crazy of a story would it be if Colby stepped in last minute and shut Tyron's mouth for good? Uh, Tyron's been trying to Tyron's been trying to shut Colby's mouth, but how crazy would it be if Colby could go in there and do what he says he will, especially on short notice? So we don't know. I guess we'll see when that fight happens at two two thirty five, I believe. So we'll see. That's my bold prediction. My next bold prediction is pretty bold, but I definitely could see this happening. Out of all these bold predictions, I think this is the most realistic one. Dana White and the UFC open up a 165-pound division. This is, I think this has to happen. There's too many guys from welterweight and lightweight. It's too big of a jump. There's too many guys that are right in the middle. There's guys, I think, like Kevin Lee... Maybe Dos Anjos. There's a lot of guys that can make 165. And I just think that 165 will be very logical. There's too many guys that are missing weight at lightweight and welterweight. Because they're right in the middle. Or maybe they're too small for welterweight. But they're they're too big for lightweight. They're right in that middle area. I think that making a 165 pound division just makes sense in the UFC. I honestly think it's smarter. Create another belt, you know. More belts, the more pay-per-view buys, honestly. So if I'm the UFC, I'm creating another division. You're going to have guys miss less weight. You're going to have guys being healthier during fights. You're going to get their best performance. 
it just makes sense to me. It's too it's too big of a jump, you know, 155 to 170. It just makes sense, and hopefully Dana and the UFC get on that. Okay, so my very last prediction before I'm going to give you my fight wish list of 2019. There will be no more undefeated champions in the UFC. What I mean by that are there's only two undefeated champions. Habib Nurmagomedov and Johnny Bones Jones. Yes, you heard me. There will be no undefeated champions in 2019. Like I said, I know it's bold. These are two of the greatest of all time. But think about it. Nurmagomedov has so many people running on his back. Tony Ferguson is stylistically, I think, a bad matchup for him. Tony is great on the ground. His striking is pretty good too, and... There's other guys. Connor is training hard. He wants that rematch, and you never know with Connor. Connor, when he dedicates himself and he focuses, that man can do anything. But there's not only Connor McGregor, there's Max Holloway who wants to move up to lightweight. And we know Max is great at striking and has great takedown defense, as you all know. If you watched my first video where I broke down Max Holloway versus Brian Ortega, go check that out. Brian Ortega, you never know, he can move up. He's also a big featherweight, and his jiu-jitsu game is off the charts, so you never know. There's a lot of guys coming for Habib. You know, Ally Quinto wants a shot again. Dustin Poirier, you can never count him out. Kevin Lee can bounce back, and he's a wrestler too. And a fight that I want to see, I'll get to it. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Lionheart has gone through a lot of people in this division. He beat Vulcan by submission at... In the third round, not too long ago, Mauricio Hua, Rashad Evans, he did lose to Thiago Santos, but Santos is on his way up. Santos might also fight for the title soon. Lombard, he's beat a lot of good guys, and you can't count Lionheart out. And a big one that everybody knows about. Mr. Daniel Cormier. If John Jones, D.C., three happens I'm going to be a very happy man Daniel has improved and even though he's getting late in age I feel like Daniel could fix his mistakes and he could beat the streak if there's any man in the world that could beat John Jones it's the heavyweight champ Daniel Cormier and well John Jones was on drugs the first two times like come on the knockout was clean the first time John Jones outclassed him it's just John Jones was a better fighter but I do think Daniel Cormier could could win. I think that when John Jones and Daniel Cormier fights, John Jones wins six fights, and Cormier, if they fought ten times, Jones wins six, Cormier gets, wins four. It's very close. So I'll be okay to see that fight again, and hopefully they make that fight. So, away from my bold predictions, now it's my wish list. These are the fights that I want to see. I'm pretty sure you guys, all you guys want to see this in 2019. I'm super excited to talk about this because I've been thinking about this for a while and I'm just going to read off my list now. This isn't an order. It's just whatever came to mind. So starting out with the number one fight I want to see. I want to see Ally Quinta versus Dustin Poirier. Ally Quinta proved me wrong. His striking is one of the best in the lightweight division. His boxing and his, his leg kicks and everything he does, he's very unorthodox. He's... He's not a very he's not a crisp boxer like some other guys like Kelvin Gastelum. But he could fight. And putting him putting him up against another great striker in Dustin Poirier, that's just a perfect fight night main event. I'd be so happy to see that. Maybe the winner gets a shot at the title. I want to see that. That's like on the top of my wish list. It'll be fun for sure. Coming in at number two. A lot of guys are, a lot of people are very controversial on this and might disagree, but Nunez versus Cyborg 2. I want to see this just for the fact that the first one was too fun. I think that a lot of people are like, Cyborg, she lost in 44 seconds, she got, she got slept. Well, Cyborg was the champ for a while and Nunez did catch her coming in. I think that it'll be fun to see it again. It'd be, I think it'd be another quick knockout. It'd be fun, or maybe Cyborg approaches this game a little bit more. How do I say safer? And she has more strategy. 
I'd love to see that again. And to be honest, I think that's the most exciting women's fight if they do it again out of all the other matchups. So let's move on. I want to see Marlon Moraes versus TJ Dillashaw. That would be a fun fight. I think Marlon Moraes is one of the great fighters in the bantamweight division. There's not many, but he's one of the great ones. I honestly just want to see Marlon fight anybody. I'm okay if he fights Cody, if he fights a Sun Sao, or uh, sadly Cruz is injured, but that would have been fun too. And I think that Marlon Moraes, his kicks are, great, are crisp. He has nice hands. I think he could give Dillashaw problems. And I think after the Cejudo fight and if he doesn't go up and fight Max, I definitely want to see him fight Moraes for the belt instead of a Sun Sao. He's already beaten a Sun Sao before. I want something new. That division needs something new. It's been very top-heavy with Cruz, a Sun Sao, Dillashaw, Garbrandt. We need some new names, and what better way to start off with Mr. Switch Kick, Marlon Moraes. Next fight, Max Holloway versus Conor McGregor 2. This might be at the top of my wish list, like the very top, number one. These are two of the greatest strikers in featherweight history. These are two of the greatest fighters in featherweight history, not only strikers too. I want to see this because when they first fought, they were both young. They were both not at their full potential. Max was a Max. Connor wasn't Connor. Max's last loss was against Connor, and I think that's the fight to make. Two strikers that would sell. People love Max. People love Connor. It's not one grappler and one striker. It's two strikers that love to bang it out. It would be fun to think about: Can Connor sleep him in the first two rounds? Or is he going to melt just like every other Max Holloway opponent and start getting pinned down against the fence and start getting beat up? It'd be interesting. Another fight I want to see is Tyron Woodley versus Colby Covington. This fight is on another level when it comes to welterweight matchups. It's two wrestlers. Tyron's not only a great wrestler, but he could strike, obviously. And Colby, his pressure is amazing. They trash talk. They both hate each other. I cannot wait to see what happens. I want. I wanted this to happen over the Usman versus Woodley fight, but obviously, that's not happening. That's happening first, unless, like I said, my bold prediction, somebody gets hurt. But I'm. I don't want anybody to get hurt. I'm not wishing injury upon anybody. This is the fight to make. It's. It, it would be fun to see what would happen. Is is Colby right? Tyron. Tyron's not matched up with him. Like, it's not a good matchup for Tyron? Or is Tyron the real champion? He does what he does against every other opponent and either sleeps them or outfights them and outclasses them. We'll see. I'm I'm definitely excited to see what happens. And hopefully we get to see that in 2019 because we never know with injuries and stuff. And Woodley fights like once a year. And uh, I want this to happen maybe in Ju June or July. That's when Woodley said it will happen. Another fight I want to see is Israel Adesanya versus Robert Whitaker. Or Kelvin Gastelum if Gastelum gets there, but more Whitaker. This is going to be, I think if Whitaker beats Gastelum, I think this is a setup fight, guys. I think if Whitaker beats Gastelum and Israel Adesanya beats Anderson Silva that night, they're going to match it up right away. It's going to be Whitaker versus Adesanya maybe on the summer card. I want to see this fight. Everybody wants to see this fight. Whitaker is a great karate fighter. And Adesanya is a great kickboxer. It's going to be a great fight. Two great strikers. And somebody's going to get slept. And I can't wait for that fight. And hopefully it happens. My next fight is Johnny Bones Jones versus Daniel Cormier 3. That fight, I've been wanting it for a while. I think DC should have one last shot before he retires to avenge his only loss against Johnny Jones. I think it's going to be a difficult task for him, but it will sell, I can tell you that, and everybody else wants to see it, and everybody hates Daniel. Well, a lot of people hate Daniel and hate John, so I can't. You either, you either hate one and love the other. There's no, you love both. It's, it's hard to do that, and 
I cannot wait to see if this happens in 2019, and I'm crossing my fingers that it does. But the number one fight I want to see, I guess not number one because I did say Max versus Connor is my number one, but one one of the top ones is Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Ben Askren. I want to see that more than Tony versus Khabib. I want to see that versus. I want to see that more than Khabib versus Connor. I want to see that over anything. I think that Askren's a great matchup for Khabib. I think Askren can be the one to defeat Tony Ferguson. I think this Lawler fight is just a setup, which is sad because I love Lawler, but it's Askren time, and I, I think Askren could come in and put a beating on Khabib if it happens. Not a beating, but he could beat Khabib, and I'm really curious to see what happens, and I'm crossing my fingers for all these fights because 2018 was good, but a lot of champions were held out. Woodley, Holloway. There were a lot of champions that didn't fight. And I hope 2019 is a different year and a new start for UFC fans. So thank you everybody for tuning in to the 16-minute podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Pretty soon I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be making my top 5, I mean top 10 NBA players. I'm going to be talking about NFL divisional round. And also I'm going to be look out for my... Suhudo Dillashaw breakdown video. It's going to be coming up soon, so make sure to subscribe and make sure to keep checking my channel every once in a while to see if that video comes up. Because I'm usually pretty accurate with my predictions. So, once again, thank you for watching and see you guys soon.